Hi, this is Anil from Learning Lab with a video tutorial on C programming. So, in this tutorial, we're gonna see a function called memcmp, and you know we're gonna see you know what is the syntax of this function, and also you know how we can use that in our program. So, this memcmp function is gonna compare the first count character specified here up to arrays passed as the pointer str1 and str2 and depending on that comparison is gonna return our integer value so if that value returned is less than 0 then it's gonna mean that the array pointed by this str1 is less than the array pointed by this str2 and if it is equal to 0 then it's gonna mean that uh, the arrays pointed by str1 and str2 are equal so if it's greater than 0 then str1 is greater than str2 okay now we're gonna see you know how we can use this memcmp function in our program so here just for the demonstration purpose uh, we're gonna create some variables of type integers so it's gonna be int so the first variable we require is the length the count of characters that we want this function to compare so I'm gonna call it as um, length and uh, next we need the length of the arrays pointed by these pointers str1 and str2 and I'm gonna say length of str1 and length of str2 and the last variable we need is to store the return value from this memcmp function so let me call it as result okay next we need two arrays to you know compare so I'm gonna create care str1 and uh, okay we're gonna specify the value later and char str2 okay next what we're gonna do is we're gonna get the length of these two arrays so it's gonna be length of string 1 equal to str ln now this function returns the length of a string or a character array so if you guys don't know about it please watch my video tutorial on it so it's gonna be str1 here and then uh, length of s2 equal to str ln that's the string length of this string 2 okay next we need to get the minimum length between this string 1 and string 2 or you know which string has the minimum length and that value that's because you know when we compare two strings so let's say we have two strings one is called learning lad learning space lad which is of length 12 and another string is learning which is of length 8 so when we talk about you know comparing these two strings we can't compare the 12 characters in these two strings we can only compare the 8 characters because you know the string 2 has only 8 characters that's why we need to pass this count as the length of the smallest string so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get that using ternary operator so it's gonna be length equal to okay is the length of string 1 is less than the string 2 so it's gonna be length of s1 yes, less than or equal to the length of s2 yes, if it is so then I'm gonna store the length of the array pointed by this str1 in the length variable so it's gonna be ln s1 yes, else I'm gonna store the length of the array pointed by str2 so this line of code is gonna return the minimum length between the arrays pointed by this str1 and str2 so that value will be stored in this length variable okay the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna call the memcmp function so memcmp to, to compare the first n number of characters present in the arrays pointed by the pointers str1 and str2 so it's gonna be str1 comma str2 and next we need to specify how many characters to compare from the beginning 
so in this case we want to compare all the characters that's why it's gonna be length you know which is nothing but the length of the smallest smallest string so this mem cmp function is gonna return our integer value so we're gonna store that in our result variable so it's gonna be result equal to mem cmp with str1 str2 and length as a parameter okay the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna check that return value and print out the appropriate message so for that purpose I'm gonna use the if result contains a value of 0 then it's gonna mean that the first length number of characters are equal so we're gonna say that using the printf function first percentage d number of characters are equal in str1 and str2 and also we need to refer our length variable here and uh, then let's say this result is not equal to 0 so when it is less than 0 it's gonna mean that the array pointed by str1 is less than the array pointed by str2 and when it is greater than 0 it's gonna mean that the array pointed by str1 is greater than the array pointed by str2 and in the both cases it's gonna mean that the arrays pointed by str1 and str2 are not have the characters common so we're gonna say that I'm gonna use else and uh, the printf function okay I'm gonna copy this one because I'm a bit lazy now okay paste it first percentage the number of characters are not equal so that's pretty cool huh? okay now we're gonna um, store the string in this str1 and str2 so it's gonna be so in our so in our string 1 we're gonna store learning lad rocks and uh, let me copy this one and uh, paste it in that in that str2 or the string 2 also so now this both strings are containing the same characters that's why you know this mem cmp function is gonna return a value of 0 because you know this string 1 and string 2 it's gonna contain same characters so I'm gonna run this so it, it says first 18 number of characters are equal in string 1 and string 2 because you know all these characters are equal okay now I'm gonna close this one and uh, change this to ROCK only learning ladder rock in the string 1 and you know learning ladder rocks in string 2 so when I run this it says first 70 number of characters are equal in string 1 and string 2 that's because this line of code here passed the length of the smallest string so you can see here the string 1 has the length 17 that's why this memcmp function has compared the string 1 and string 2 for the first 17 characters okay the next thing that uh, we're gonna do is we're gonna change these characters uh, this function is case sensitive that's why I'm gonna change this one to small l so learning lad rocks so these two strings are not equal for you know the 70 number of characters right now so that's why if I run this it says first 17 number of characters are not equal in string 1 and string 2 that's because you know since this is case sensitive you know this small l is not equal to capital L okay this is it this is about the mem cmp function thank you guys thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you guys have any doubt don't hesitate to put a comment in that video so i'll see you in the next tutorial guys